Hey guys, welcome back to a new modeling video in Maya 2018. Today we're going to be modeling a, a garden bridge. Okay, here we go. All right guys, let's get started with our bridge. We're going to take a, uh, let's see, we'll take a polygon cube. Okay, we're going to hit the control A to open up the attribute editor and let's set the width and edge uh, line up to an uneven number. Let's do 21 and you'll uh, understand in a second why okay then we're gonna hit r we're gonna pull that out and what we want is for the sections to be roughly squares like that okay i think it looks all right then we're gonna go into deform we're gonna go to non-linear we're gonna go to bend we're gonna hit e to rotate hold down j and rotate that bend handle okay and then go in and start to curve it and don't go nuts on that. I think that looks all right. Drag select it, go to edit, delete by type in history. So uh, we should be good. Yeah, we are. Okay. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, extend this face right here. So uh, basically, we are going to hit Control E to uh, extrude W to pull out okay which will give us something like this and I'm just looking at whether that is what I want and I think it is so let's have a look yep that's okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go to object mode and I'm going to hold down X to snap that. I think that looks all right. It didn't turn out exactly as I wanted, but that's fine. And what we'll basically just do is go to vertex, drag like this one, and align it so it's nice and vertical. Okay. All right. Now we want that on the other side as well, but there's no need to uh, copy that over. Okay. So what we can do is just um, go in, get a face drags like this delete it take this guy object mode control d to duplicate e to rotate hold down j and flip it over and now you're going to understand why i wanted 21 instead of 20. okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take these two we're going to go to uh, mesh and uh, combine and then we're going to go to right click edge double click shift double click and go to um, bridge okay there we go all right so we're good on that and uh, next what we need to do is we need to go in and I'll take this one this face one here one there and one perfectly in the middle we're gonna control E to extrude W to pull in which will give us something like this and again try to keep that somewhat square I think it looks all right and then we need to have a few uh, pulled up for our verticals um, which will be this guy this guy and this guy control E to extrude W to pull up height wise let's have a look I think that looks all right okay so we're going to go in and what we're going to do is we're going to right click at a vertex, drag like this one and shift drag like that one. And then we're going to go in and we're going to hit W and we're going to pull that up until that is level like so. All right. Okay. Not too bad so far. Now what we're going to do is we are going to, um, let's see, we are going to flip this guy over. Okay, so we're going to right click at object mode. We're going to hit control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down J, flip it around, and then hit W and push it over. Now we can uh, deal with the width in a bit, you know, once we're satisfied that everything uh, turned out the way we want it, but for now it's okay. And uh, let's see what the next step is. 
So we need to put some uh, caps on top here. So for that, I'll go to modeling. I'll take a cube. We'll just uh, pull this out. I have to zoom in, art the scale out. Push that down a bit, oops, like this. And then we're gonna go to face, control E to extrude, art the scale in, and W to pull up a little bit, like that, right? So that's what we want. Object mode, we're gonna move that in, we're gonna move that up. We're gonna have a look from the top. Four for wireframe mode. We're gonna hold down V and snap it. There we go. And let's hit R and scale it in a bit. And have a look. Okay, this needs to come up, obviously. Have to zoom in. Let's see if it's sitting okay. And there you have it. All right. Now we want a couple of those on the others as well. So we're going to control D to duplicate. W to move that over. We're going to adjust the height. And then we're going to center it looking from the top view. So again, we're going to hold down V and I think I got it, but I think I'm uh, missing something up guys. My apologies. It should be good. Maybe I got some kind of brain thing going on. Oh, of course, there you go. Um, the reason for that is that this guy is perfectly centered with the grid and that's why it snapped nicely. Uh, in this case, that is uh, not going on. So you can see that that is uh, a different, um, different thing. If it were to snap to the grid, it would go there. If it were to go to snap to uh, vertices, as you can see, it will jump around, okay? So in this case, what I'm gonna do is just uh, bring that in. And I'm just gonna leave this in the video for the simple reason that you see that it's uh, not um, uncommon to make mistakes. And then you have to figure out, okay, what went wrong? What do I need to do to fix it and so forth? So just uh, see it as a learning experience, okay? And we're gonna control D to duplicate that one. And we're gonna move that over here have to zoom in and let's have a look from here looks all right okay so now that we have these three we need control D to duplicate and W to move them over which kind of makes sense right and let's uh, check their position and there you have it okay so now that we have all that, let's see what's our next step, okay? So uh, what we want is for a fence piece to be in the middle, of course. And uh, for that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a uh, polygon cube, once again, and we're gonna hit F to zoom in. I'll just pull this out so we can see it. Hit R, we're gonna make it nice and thin. Like that, okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, hit W to move down a bit. And I'm just eyeballing it to make sure that it looks the way I want. This is gonna follow this curve down to right there, okay. So what we need to do is we need to uh, right click the vertex, drag select. We're gonna bring that out here. Then we're going to go in to, uh, let's see, uh, injured edge loop. And uh, let's see here. We're set to three right now, which is not enough. Uh, let me think. Let's actually set that to, we'll set it to one. So we have, we'll get more control. That may sound a bit weird, but trust me, okay? So I'm just gonna get rid of those, and I'm gonna do one, which will jump to the middle 
I'll do one again, one again, one, 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 and one, and that's how you get more control, okay? All right, so I'm gonna hit Q on my keyboard. I'm gonna right click, go to a vertex, directs like this, hit W, and I'm gonna bring that down until I'm satisfied with the height, this height compared to that height, and then I can go and follow that line which will give me the curve that I want. I think that's looking okay so far. All right, I think it looks okay. Maybe we need to move this up just slightly and then now that we have this we're gonna take it we're gonna hit control D to duplicate it hit W and we're gonna move that up to about there okay let's have a look I think that looks okay what we can do is uh, select them both go to mesh and combine and then we'll uh, just hit R to uh, give it a bit more thickness like that. So when we put in the vertical elements, it doesn't look as thin as it looks right now, okay? And obviously, we're gonna be able to copy all of these over once we're done. Let's see, maybe a bit less. All right, okay, that looks okay. Uh, what I wanna do here is right click, go to edge, and I'm just gonna take those edges because it's a bit square and I want it to be beveled. So we're just gonna select those and we're gonna bevel that, all right? Now that may be a bit much, but I think it looks okay. And then we can take some verticals. So we can do round, we can do square, basically whatever you want. But what we'll do is uh, we'll take another cube. I'll uh, hit W to move it out. Hit R to push it in like so and so and then pull that up. Let's get one into position. Let's move that over. And if you wanna keep some sort of symmetry, what you can do is try to kind of align it with the, uh, the vertical edges of the top and bottom piece there. Now I'm gonna hit R to kind of make it a bit thinner. We're gonna hit W to push that in. And then I'm gonna right click at a vertex. And you want that to be a proper fit, of course. So we'll push that down push that down, and we'll take these, push that up, and push that up, okay? So uh, now that we have that, we should be able to reuse this, although we might need to uh, adjust the curve a little bit. So hit Control D to duplicate, bring it over, push that up, as you can see, pretty close. So what I'm gonna do is hit shift D a couple of times so I at least have it in position and then here you can see that a curve is obviously changing but first I'm gonna roughly put them into position and then once that's done we can tweak it All right so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna select it Go to vertex, drag select, push that down, push that one up if needed, and just uh, keep on going with that.
right so let's have a look these guys need to be brought in position of course so we're going to select them we're going to w we're going to move them in we're going to have a look from our top view and uh, now we can actually hold down x and snap them in position let's have a look i think that looks fine so what we can do now is uh, combine these go to uh, mesh and uh, combine so we can now hit uh, control d to duplicate e to rotate hold down j to flip it around a bit more should be snapping perfectly to 90 degrees uh, actually it seems that it is okay so we're gonna jump uh, over to this angle we're gonna pull it over and let's uh, make sure that we're good and we're gonna bring it in just a little and there you go All right now these are in position and one and two and we're gonna control D once again to duplicate hit W bring that over make sure it's centered right so it looks uh, okay so far um, now what we need to do is we need to uh, create some uh, cross beams now we're probably never gonna see the um, underneath the bridge you could have cross beams here and make it really fancy and everything what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create boards okay and those boards will enable us to uh, walk over our bridge okay so a um, number of ways we can do this we can take um, a number of boards and curve them as we did before so let's start with that and see if that works out for us so i got another cube i'm gonna hit w and then pull that out i'm gonna hit r make that nice and flat not too flat okay that looks about right we're gonna pull that out and we're gonna lay that on top of this guy right here and let's make sure we're centered what i can actually do here is take everything except this board right here so go to object mode deselect this guy go to let's make sure everything's selected yep yeah. go to mesh and uh, combine all right then i'm going to go to uh, modify and center pivot so now if I jump to my top and I hit W to move it and I hold down X, I can snap it perfectly to the center of my grid so I know that I'm always in the right position, okay? Then I'm gonna hold down X on this guy's wall and snap it there. So now I got a pretty good view of whether I'm in the good position or not. Okay, so we're gonna hit R to make this slightly longer now this is going to be a pretty important piece for our bridge so i'm going to right click at the edge and take these two and i'm going to go in and uh, let's see we'll bevel those just for that cool effect right then we're going to right click we're going to hit Control d to duplicate w to move over and let's just have a look from the top we want a little bit of distance between the two but not too much like this and then we're gonna hit shift D to work our way down that should be about right and the only thing we cannot calculate right now is when we start to curve this down whether it's gonna be long enough okay but we'll figure it out so once we have this what I can do is I can go in and we're gonna drag select these hit control D to duplicate and we're gonna pull them over have to zoom in and let's do that from this view I want to have the same distance so let's look at it from all angles I think it looks okay let's try that without the selection going on that's good so now I'm going to drag select it I'm going to go to uh, mesh and uh, combine 
let's go to edit delete by type history and then we're gonna go in to uh, let's see where to go the form nonlinear and bend again we're gonna hit E to rotate our bend handle hold on J to do that we're now at 90 degrees looks like so now we can go in and curve our boards now that might be tricky but we'll see how far we get all right and that should work out pretty good and I think it worked out perfectly all right so that's good now we're gonna select this and we're gonna go to edit delete by type history so again we are um, getting rid of that bend handle and let's see where we're at okay so we need to do a little bit of uh, custom work and uh, what I mean by that is um, we got this board right here and as you see some of them need to be longer okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit R and we're gonna pull them out to a point where they're, they're actually even sticking out a little bit, okay, like that. Now, there are a few that we need to adjust because we've got overlapping vertices uh, in the middle, for example. So what we need to do is we need to go in and we need to go to uh, mesh and separate right now. So we can take this board right here and we're basically going to hit R and push that back in like that we have the same issue here to a certain extent and then we have the same at the end okay so once we've done that we're gonna see if there's anything we need to fix or adjust um, yes there is you can see that we have a little opening here I don't know if you can see it but you should be able to see it so uh, yeah, what we're gonna do there is we're gonna fix that and then we're gonna flip it over, okay? Now this board is at an angle, which makes it a bit tricky, but we'll do it anyway, okay? So I'm gonna go to uh, Injured Edge Loop, Option Box, and I'm gonna set it to multiple and one, that's fine. And then I'm gonna go in and add an edge loop, okay? Now, the best way to do this probably is uh, from our perspective view. You can see that that edge loop is pretty close to our vertical post. So I'm going to hit W and ever so slightly move it. Okay. All right. Um, now, what we need to do with that guy is we need to go to Edit Mesh and Bevel. And that looks much better. Okay. So uh, now what we can do is go in and hopefully we can see it from here and a right click, let's see here. I need to close that up, just hang on. We're gonna go to our modeling toolkit. We're gonna go to our multi-cut tool. Uh, I wanna go in from there to and hit enter flip it around and from there to there and hit enter okay Q on my keyboard right click object mode we are going to go in right click at a face select one face shift select the other control E to extrude R to scale out and that should close up that gap and let's see if we are aligned here. Looks like we're very close. So we can uh, close the modeling toolkit. We can um, close this guy and jump to our top view so we can check. And we're gonna right click go to vertex. We're gonna drag select W to move that just a little. And same here. So that is now a much better fit. We're gonna take our one board at the other end in object mode. 
let's delete that. Then we're going to take this one, the one that we made custom. We're going to control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down J and flip that around. And if you work symmetrical, then it should be perfectly in place. Okay. So uh, let's see what else. Um, we're pretty close to finishing this guy. Uh, we can do an additional board here. So I'll take one of these. Control D to duplicate. W to move out. Okay, and then we're gonna go in. I have to zoom in. Let's see where we're at. I'm gonna go to uh, modify and center pivot. And what I wanna do is hit E to rotate it. W to bring it down. And we can do a couple of things here. We can try to get this into position like this. We can make the board a bit shorter if we have to, which we can. And I think that is maybe the best option, okay? So what we'll do first is we'll hit E to rotate it until we're at 90 degrees. And then we're gonna hit W to raise that up slightly. I'm gonna go to vertex, drag, select. Let's bring that in, I think, to about here. We're going to go to the object mode. We're going to hit E to rotate it again. W to put it into place. Rotate it slightly, a bit more. And I think that will work quite well. Yeah, I think so. You can see that again, this one is hitting that beam, so it's a bit long. So I'm just gonna bring that in a bit. All right, and then let's uh, hit the Control D to duplicate it, W to move it out. And we'll jump in here again. And actually it's probably easier to take one that's the same size, so we can use that. Control D to duplicate. W, we're going to go to modify and center pivot. Okay, move that out. We're going to hit E to rotate it again. Let's uh, make that level. W to bring down. E to rotate it just a bit more. And we're going to bring W and bring that in. And then bring it down just a bit. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate it. We're gonna pull that over to about there. And then we're gonna have this guy match up, okay? So we're gonna go to Vertex. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna move them. And then take the bottom one, and there you go. All right, so that looks okay, I think. And then what we can do is we can right click go to Object take this board, that board, and that board, go to Mesh and Combine. We're gonna hit the Control D to duplicate. We're gonna hit E to rotate, hold down J, and flip it around. Like that. Hit W, move it over here. And let's uh, bring that in. And if we align it properly, yeah, it's fine. And then we need to align this guy like we did with the other one, right? That's uh, a Maya bug. I've seen that happen before, which is kind of weird. Okay. Now there's one thing we can do, um, but I'm not sure I want to what we could is lower these guys. You can see there's a tiny opening between the two. We can, we don't have to, I think it's okay. So I'm gonna leave it like that, right? Now for the finishing touch, um, bolts. Uh, this is obviously uh, put together in some way. Uh, so what we need to do here is, um, let me think guys. Just want to pretty this up a little bit, if you know what I mean. I think the best way to do that is to do this. We're going to go into face and um, 
I think we're just going to place them right there. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go to modeling. We'll take a uh, polygon sphere. Oddly enough, we'll uh, pull that out. Control A to open up the attribute editor. We're going to go in and set this to six, six or eight. Let's see, eight, I think. Yeah, eight's fine. And then we'll do eight here as well. Okay, can't make up my mind. Six and six. Yeah, there you go. All right, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to right click at a face and I'm going to cut it in half basically. Or even more than that. Get rid of everything except that. All right. So that will give us this guy. We're going to go to object mode. We're going to go to uh, modify and center pivot. Hit E to rotate, hold down J and flip it like that. Then we're going to go in, we're going to right click, go to edge, double click on it, control E to extrude and W to pull out just slightly. And then we're going to go to object mode and let's see if we can get that into position where it should be or close to anyway. Okay. We're going to bring that in F to zoom in R to scale down. And for the first one, that looks okay. Now you always need to consider, okay, where should these bolts be, right? Now there's supposed to be a beam down here crossing over. So we're gonna hit W and we're gonna bring this down and you want two of them. So they have to be proportionate so you can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna scale it down a bit, W to move up. We're gonna hit Control D to duplicate and pull that down. So we've got two of them. Then we're going to make sure that they're actually hugging the wood, if you know what I mean. Let's uh, push that in. There you go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to mesh and uh, combine. Combine. There we go. Control D to duplicate. We'll push one over here. And make sure that that's pretty much centered. And what you can do here, if you like, is rotate them a bit, which would kind of make sense. Hit W, put them in here like that. And then you're going to hit Control D again. Hit W, move it over to this end. Have to zoom in. And obviously, we're going to rotate it the other way around like that. And then once you're happy with that, you're going to take all of them, go to uh, mesh and uh, combine, edit the by type history, and then you can go in, hit control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down J, flip it around all the way until you're at 90 degrees, hit W, move that over and move it in so they are hugging our wood once again. Let's have a close look here. There you go. And voila, there's our bridge. Um, that's it guys. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. And if you don't want to miss out on future videos, so make sure you subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.